You brought up earlier the Players Club. We were just talking about, you know, Trixie and Ronnie. I actually have a segment that I want to do, and I'm very excited about this. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I was going to ask, did you ever see Players Club? But cause Obviously. Yeah, this would have fucked everything up. For those who don't know, Players Club is one of, if not the greatest black stripper inter- adult entertainment movie probably ever. I'd if you say. ain't seen Players Club, you ain't lived. Yeah, that's like not seeing Friday and Belly. It's actually produced by... Our uncut videos on yeah, BET. Yeah, it's actually produced by <laughs> uh, Ice Cube. But anyway, so one thing I want to oh, do is... I never realized that. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yep. California. Mm-hmm. So one thing I want to do is I want to do a segment of player, the Players Club versus real life stripping. So movies are movies. They can be, you know, kind of facade and whatnot. Some things can be real. So what I want to do is I want to pull a few scenes from Players Club, and I want you to tell me if it's real or if it's cap, and then your personal situation going through that yourself. Okay. All right? First thing, shit. Goddamn Toro. Tipsy. <laughs> What's this shit you got me sipping? Tequila. We only drink tequila. And I'm down with my cup. I'm a henny man myself. All right, so... First thing on the list, Players Club. Okay, boom. Diamond's first dance. It was very awkward and uncomfortable. How was your first ever dance in the club? It was horrible as fuck. It was so awkward. Mm. I was like 18. I didn't want to tell my family because I had a daughter like at 17. (laughs) I bought a ticket and everything. I was like, I'm about to fly to Atlanta. I'm going to be a stripper. It was horrible. I got arrested and everything. (laughs) (laughs) God damn. So you fly to Atlanta, you get arrested, and the dance was horrible. Back then, Craigslist was a fucking thing. Got on fucking Craigslist. They had a fucking ad up for something about they was on a new club. It was the old body tap. Body tap had just shut down because Candy's husband passed away or got killed in there. And they reopened it up, and it was called Whispers. Mm. And that's when I went. Flew way the fuck out there. They told us we'll be okay. I didn't need my permit because um, it was grand opening. We should have been okay. Mm-hmm. Raided the bitch the first night. Mm. Cops all up in there. And I'm from California. My ID is California. So they told me I was a flight risk. Mm. So I instantly had to go to the fucking holding cell. Ooh, and this is your first night there? <laughs> Ideal meal. Damn. What? And I've never been in jail oh, at this man. time, too. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I didn't eat. They gave me some yellow ass. I think it was lemonade. I didn't drink it. Yeah, they gave ju- me bologna. I ain't never had bologna. Oh, man. That juice is no good. Um, it was juice. You said drink? You said a yellow drink? I thought drink? it was water. I don't know. I was scared to drink it. Oh, shit. Then a nigga tried to tell me to, like, so they had us in the hallway for court. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they leave you for a second. They hand you cuff. Mm-hmm. They had us handcuffed to the other bitches. Mm-hmm. The nigga that's the janitor. It's the door right there beside me. He gonna open the door. He's like, come right in here. Come right up in here. Come in here real quick. Oh. I'm like, what the fuck, you guys? Damn. <laughs> this is in Atlanta. Oh, it sounds like it. Atlanta. Oh, he was trying to get right. Damn. Yeah. So the, so the actual the actual dance, nonetheless, was awkward and uncomfortable, you said, right? Shit, I feel like I barely got the dance. Oh, so it's like, as soon as you start, boom. They didn't, like, at 10 o'clock, they start walking through. And they said on the speaker, all dancers come to the locker room. Damn. That is fucked up. And pulled the binder out with everybody permit. So if you had a permit, you was good. Yeah. If you didn't, you had to stand to the other side. That is crazy. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Well. I was discouraged at that point. They say first is the worst, but goddamn. All right, next one. So the scene where Myron stalked and followed Diamond home. Have you ever dealt with a stalker or a creep from dancing? Fuck yes, that fucking shit is irritating. Yes, and you try to block them, they'll call your like call you twenty million times or on block number or another number. They'll come to the club and be like, "Why are you not talking to me? Mm. I've been looking for you." Jeez. Yeah. Well, it sounds like if I had to assume, I would say that's because <laughs> they can't pull nothing outside the club, right? So they go to the club because it's like, oh, it's access to women. She's dancing on me. She's in love with me. Like you said, yes. I feel like they don't be looking that bad. They could get somebody. Man, it's about character. You know, they got shit to do with looks when it comes to bagging something. It's about character and in your sense, and like most sense, providing. Yeah. At, at least keeping her, providing. You know what I'm saying? So they got nothing to do with being cute and all that. But they probably can't get nothing outside of it. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, you be, y'all strippers, y'all sell fantasies in yeah, a sense, right? That's true. So y'all dancing on him, telling him, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all making him feel good, stroking his ego. He like, oh, she likes me. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a dude tell me I like him before. Yeah. But so. it's like, 
<laughs> what did you say after he well, said that? I'm not going to say it right away. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I don't like you. <laughs> so what did you say? I don't like you in that way. Okay. That's 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 a nice that's a nice way to keep it a buck. Yeah, that's a nice way to keep it a buck. All right, next one. Okay, this is a good one. Diamond seeing her professor, Professor Mills, while dancing. Have you ever had an awkward interaction with someone you knew while dancing? My mom and my brother and them came in. But my but I had to be on the other side of the club when he came. Okay. You said you had to? Yeah, we didn't want to be see each other. It's okay. awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that. But my mom, she could watch me. I don't give a fuck. Okay, nice. It's not bad. Well, that's not awkward then, so that canceled that <laughs> the out. The brother, though, he was there. That would definitely be... Yeah. yeah, we couldn't... I didn't want him to watch me. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. You've done private events before, right? Yeah, I like private events more than the strip club. Bet. So, Ronnie doing a private event for the police group, and... um. It got pretty wild, kinky, and stinky in there. The white dude was getting spanked with the paddle, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot. So private parties, um, do they tend to be wild or freaky since you're kind of excluded from the club? Yeah, it's up to you. It's your rules. Every private party looks different. I've done shower shows with another girl, um, depending on the what they're spending. And, like, that's when we got fully, we was in Vegas, we got fully nude. That was a 1,000 in tips alone. Like, mm. not counting the showing up fee for the two hours because I make sure to, to get hourly, you know, just to show up yeah. for me and her for two hours. So, yeah, I feel like uh, we did the shower show. That's when you get naked. We in the shower together, dancing, bubbles. I feel like that, you know. And so is it when you did that, was it just like a crowd outside of the shower watching y'all? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was nice. a, They were getting married. So it was like no more ah. than like 10 niggas. Oh, okay. Wait, so they, so were, they, they was So it, it was like a big ass suite. They had like one of them. I don't know what hotel it was. It was like... One of them nice ass ones because it probably like the Venetia or something because it had the upstairs, downstairs. It mm -hmm. was big as fuck. Okay. And the bathroom alone was big as fuck. It had mm. the shower, the tub. We did the tub, filled it up with bubbles, told the niggas throw the money on the floor. Mm. We'll pick it up when we done. Mm -hmm. And just turn the music on. Y'all bring y'all drinks in here. Just... We'll dance and take a shot and take a shower. Kick back and watch. I've done um, another one in Vegas too for a couple. That one, they were about to fuck down there while I was entertaining them. Mm. But I felt like I like that. Like, cause yeah, I turned you, them on. You turned them on. Yeah. What were you doing? I was doing a shower show. Okay. By yourself? That's my specialty. Yeah. And it turned them on and they, <laughs> that one was a clear glass shower and uh -huh. I let them to, it was just them two. They only came and watched. Mm. Um, and I, you know, you play around with yourself, yeah. you bubbles, it's, you know, turn around, you twerk, you, you know, mm -hmm. I'm big on dancing slow and sensational. So like I say, it's easy to get turned on. I feel like when somebody's moving slow compared to twerking and, and I don't put on fast music. I bring my own radio, my own playlist. I'm big on old school sex music. So, yeah, I, I agree with the slow and sen, you know uh, sensual part. That's my preference as well. Like I fall into a trance, like when a yeah, you know what I'm saying a beautiful dancer is just like going slow and steady when the and the hips is rocking and she looking at me. I'm yeah. So compared that's, to a slow song, I feel like that's just the best. I yeah. just think it's the best. I agree. All right, next scenario from the Players Club. Baller alert. Didn't that happen? Like, it was a baller alert? Like, a siren went yeah, off? Yeah, we ain't got that, though. Okay, so when someone with the bag does come into the building, does that create, like, some type of competition? Like, how does that go? Yeah. Who decides who goes there? Like, how does that work? It do create competition. I just tell myself that I'm a money magnet and I attract money, so I'm not in competition with nobody but my damn self. But you do see girls, like... You'll know when the competition starts because everybody start getting the fuck up. Everybody be shaking. Everybody trying to do the most to get seen, mm. you know. So are you allowed to go straight to that person or does he, the, does that person have to Depending pick you? on the club you're at. Okay. So the club I'm at currently, if they're at the bar, you cannot go to them. Now in a different club, if they're in a section, it depends. They have to call you to the section. Like in South Carolina, I know they kind of got to call you to the section. Um, so it just depends. I think every club is different. Nice. If I got a chance, I'm going to go up to the nigga, though. Yeah. Makes sense. You're a money magnet. Do you dance different on a dude when he has that bag compared to not? What do you mean? Every nigga comes in there and got money. I'm saying if it's Everybody someone... Everybody money is good say, money. Say, say, say the baby comes into the club. Are you going to dance different for him as opposed to a regular customer? I might. Shit. I might try to put the fuck on a show. Yeah. Just the truth. But I still feel like I'm I'm thankful for the niggas that could come get two dances. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. you never know what nobody's financial state is to to you That's should just be fact. thankful in general. A dude can pull up in some sketchers and he have a goddamn quarter billion account, you know? 
Well, I'm just saying, Eric, you got to be thankful for everything. Little mm. money and big money. Fuck it. You didn't have to give it to me, but you did. Yeah. What's the most you've taken home uh, one night in a club? In the club? Mm-hmm. My money be wearing a bookings. In the club? Oh, LA. LA. Like 900. 900. Yeah. And that was a quick shift. Um, a very touchy scene when Junior violated Ebony at his uh, party and whatnot. Um, so my question is, do dudes typically try to cross the just business line with you? Does that happen often? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you um how do you handle so yesterday that? Yesterday I damn near snapped on a guy at the club. Why so? Because he kept on being disrespectful, I feel like, and trying to get at me um for a date. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I just it's like I already told you no politely. Mm-hmm. And then I told you no again politely. When the fuck are you going to hear me? Mm. So he heard me when I bossed him, when I cussed him the fuck out. Yeah. And let him know, like, okay, now you're disrespecting me. I already fucking told you what it was. Mm-hmm. Calm that shit the fuck down before I go get security. Yeah. And get kicked out this bitch. Like, then what? Because mm. like I told him, you want me to let them know you said, let's take their dancers. So does that happen on a re- It happens on a regular, you said? It do. Mm. It'd be more like Mexicans, though. That's fucking it. Guro. <sighs> Good old mommy. Then they be trying to play like they don't know Spanish. Nigga, you know fucking. I mean, you know, don't English. know English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, you know English. Stop playing with me. <laughs> so how do you uh how do you go about protecting yourself, being proactive in situations like that? At the club? Uh, and outside of it. <laughs> outside of the club, I always bring someone with me to any fucking events I go to. Nice. I always give um my information to certain family members. I always have my location shared at all fucking times, no matter where the fuck I'm at with certain people. Um, I always give numbers and screenshot conversations. I'm very big on that shit and send that shit to certain people as well that I, that I feel like got me. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I don't have a gun. So that is the truth, you know, but yeah. I do need to get some pepper spray and a knife. Yeah. At least get the key you know, strength. I could key- fight though now. Cool, Cali. That's no, cool. Like, you can I fight, can fight, but fight. I mean, still. <laughs> I know, but like Come I did MMA now. and shit. Have you ever had to throw hands on a dude? Yes. Yeah. How did Cal- t- I'm from California. We fight niggas all the time. How did that turn out? What do you mean? The situation where you had to throw hands I on still, a dude. I'm still standing. I still look cute. Yeah. So I got my hands in. Okay. I see you. I mean, I'm never supposed to whoop a man's ass, but as long as I could get with him. I mean, if a dude trying to... If he trying to finesse you or do anything physical. But I'm just saying necessarily, technically, I probably can't whoop a man's ass, but I could might get I could defend myself. And then give him the perspective or let him let it be known like I can oh, kick damn, my boss. she can that'll work. That'll leave us defenseless <laughs> real quick. And hit him in the nose. That'll work. Listen, do what you gotta fucking do. I can choke somebody. I gouge all that shit. I don't know about a choke. I'd get out your choke. I don't know about that. Maybe I can choke with my legs. Now that might work. You got some legs on you. The choke I did might cheerleading work. MMA for a very ni- nice time. Cheerleading and MMA. Yes. Okay, so you also can the MMA mixed martial arts. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what do you know, like jujitsu or some shit? I did that too. Yeah. And boxing. Okay. I just don't choose to fight no more because I'm too cute. You know who you remind me of right now? Who? <laughs> Cause you. You're... It's because you're drunk. No. Oh. <laughs> It's because you're saying you know all this MMA and jujitsu, and you're pretty. You're an attractive woman. You remind me of the episode of Boondocks, evil kung fu wolf bitch. <laughs> the bitch that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that knew the kung fu and shit. That was kicking. That was trying to date the uh, grandpa. Yeah, because because she, she like knew all the kung fu. She was pretty shit, but she was deadly. And you telling me you know MMA and jujitsu. I just but I'm really calm. Well, those when are the, I want to be. Those are the scariest ones. I said I was crazy in the beginning. Yeah, I know. Listen, I took note of that. I definitely took note. That's why. I, that's also why I said you remind me of Evil Kung Fu Wolf Bitch. Oh, put- uh, they probably fucked with her on the episode and she got crazy. Well, she was already crazy before because of past experience, because of other dudes that turned her crazy. Granddad was the calm. I went to counseling, so. Okay. I'm calm on that. All right. Therapy? Well, that's is, that's counseling in yeah. a sense. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Whichever um, word we want to use. Last but not least, scene from Players Club. You feel all right? Mm-hmm. Last scene from the Players Club. The very end, Diamond leaving the club for good. My question to you is, when do you know when it's time to walk away from the club? That's a hard question. I don't know yet. Mm. Hasn't hit yet? Has no. it, you, haven't, you haven't contemplated that, that yet or anything? No, not at all. <laughs> nope. Okay, well. Maybe so, when I get like 35 or close to 40. How old are you, if you don't mind sharing your age? <laughs> Don't answer that. All right, so my other question. My I other... don't care. I look great for my age. I'm 31. Okay. 
Yeah, you do look good. I, I don't care. I th- I'm 28. I thought you was at least me. I thought you were between 27, 29. No, I'm 31. All right, nice. With two kids. Well, how old were you when you got married? Damn. Oh, I got married 2016. So. <laughs> <laughs> Had to look at the tattoo. <laughs> okay, so that's not too bad. Then. Wait, 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 wait. 